Welcome to today's Tech Me Show. Today I'm going to teach you how to take your either Windows Phone or similar and, uh, well, pair it with your laptop or desktop. Anything that basically has uh, Bluetooth. And go ahead and right now uh, pause the video and enable the Bluetooth on your phone. In this case, in a Windows Phone, you would go to the uh, Programs menu and then click Settings, click Bluetooth, and turn it on. And you're done. Now, you're on your desktop, assuming that uh, you've already completed the enabling of your Bluetooth device. So let's go ahead and type computer. Now, you could always do this easier, but um, we're going to do it this way. Uh, blue, or I'm sorry, my blue, and it, it actually comes up, my Bluetooth. Go ahead and press enter. Now, it says no blue, blue pardon me, no Bluetooth devices found in range, right? So go ahead and select search for devices. Make sure that your Bluetooth, again, is enabled on your phone. And if not, you'll see it does not show. So, what you could do is go ahead and think, hmm, why isn't it showing up? Well, a lot of times you have to make sure your computer is visible to some phones. Otherwise, it will not recognize it. So, go ahead and click my Bluetooth settings. Plus, we want to change some settings. Call it whatever you want. Again, this is completely a test machine. Um, so, device address, you know, this is irrelevant, especially for me. Uh, but if this was your computer and it was actual and factual, um, you would make sure that it did match uh, the um, device you were looking for, um, whether it be, um, well, it doesn't matter. We'll go on. So choose the device, laptop, desktop, uh, that the device will see. Um, I'm choosing laptop. And uh, allow Bluetooth devices to find this computer. Yes, because a lot of phones will not pair if it cannot see it on the phone. Um, and I keep it in the system tray. It's good to know in case somebody maybe one day exploits uh, Bluetooth and whatever. Uh, notify me of uh, Bluetooth connections. Yeah, go ahead. Now let's go ahead and click that folder. Make sure uh, anything you receive goes to where you want. I recommend you keep it here, my receive files. This way you can sort it out later. And enable sh uh, sharing of my files. Great, because we're also in this tutorial going to learn how to um, back up. So, we'll go ahead and say that's fine. Um, now, serial port, we're not going to go ahead and enable this. You could, uh, but we're not. Uh, now, network settings, I'm going ahead and going to enable Bluetooth network. Um, and then audio settings, you could choose. I'm choosing the default uh, for playback. And language, a lot of times it will come up as like nothing. So go ahead and make sure that it is English. Then go ahead and press OK. Go ahead and select search for devices. And what do you know? There's our uh, phone right there. Right? So let's go ahead and right click it. Click update. And we're just going to make sure. These are the services that are available on my Windows phone. That's pretty good. Zero connections, obviously. It's discovered. But we're going to want to connect to it. Now, we want to go ahead and select Secure Pair. Now, we could either do this on our phone or on the computer. Because we are using a computer, we're going to go ahead and select Secure Pair. Now, in a second, you should get a pop-up on your Windows phone or whatever phone you might have. Now, it's going to say this is your device, this is the address, uh, and I believe that might be this phones, uh, well, we're going to go ahead and say it is, because um, I'm supposed to be using real devices and whatnot. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Okay, so then on uh, my phone, it says pairing accessory, um, and it would have uh, the passkey, and then I would go ahead and press OK on my phone, which would then uh, OK here. Now it's uh, doing a pairing operation, and it looks like it was completed. So, now what can you do now that your phone is uh, paired with your uh, laptop well, or desktop, whatever the case may be? We could go ahead and right-click it, click Explore. Now, here we go. We can play music uh, through our computer from our phone. So, I'm going to go ahead and select Connect. Move this over. Connect. 
connecting for stereo audio. Perfect. It looks like it was established. That was very quick, which is awesome. Um, now, technically, that means I can go to my phone. I can go to any multimedia. I don't think you can do phone calls, uh, but that's okay. Um, I'm sure there's a way around it, trust me, but we're not going to teach you that here. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, select a Fine Brothers video, um, Teens React, and I'm going to go ahead and select Play. Uh, you can't see my phone, however, I'm going to select Play on my phone, and you should start hearing the audio. Let's find out. So I pause. Now I'll pause the audio from the YouTube video. That's right. I'm watching a YouTube video and the audio coming through my, well, computer. Now that doesn't mean I can't maybe uh, reroute the audio from my computer to, let's say, my home theater system. So now I can watch on a little screen and have big audio, which is awesome to me. <laughs> but let's go ahead and replay uh, the audio just so you can see, or hear rather. Okay, so you get the point, right? Um, so we have the device paired. We can listen to music from the phone. Awesome. Uh, and probably other sounds too, like incoming calls and what have you. But now, let's back up our phone book, just in case. You never know when you might uh, need to restore it, uh, but let's go ahead and select backup. And I've already created it for this device, um, but we'll go ahead and overwrite it and select save. Do I want to replace it? Yes. And it's backing up, and it was successful. Terrific. So this way, in the future, if I do redo device, pardon me, redo the device, I can restore it, which is great. Um, but yeah, uh, and now as you can see, I can disable or rather disconnect uh, the play music, um, which is fine, uh, and disconnect and whatnot. Um, but anyways, uh, that concludes this tutorial on how to connect your Windows Phone or pretty much any phone with Bluetooth. Uh, so to speak, uh, to allow music to play through your uh, phone to your computer, um, as well as backing up your PIM data uh, with phone book. Uh, and, and on some phones, you're actually able to select on the phone, uh, enable photo sharing and synchronizing. So then it would probably add an option on here uh, to let you know that it was grabbing your pictures and whatnot. But... Anyways, I will not take up any more of your time. I appreciate you watching, and uh, thank you for watching the Tech Me Show.